Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Christ the Healer Gospel Church. It's good to see everyone here. It's going to be an amazing night. We have Lonnie Sims with us, preaching the fire of God, calling the fire of God to fall down on us tonight. Amen. And we're just going to jump right in early, if that's okay with you. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. So I invite you to stand with me tonight. We're just going to sit, set our hearts to seek after him, the one and the only, name above all names, creator, giver of life. Father, you knew us before, our, before we were even born, God. You know us inside and out. You know exactly what we need tonight here in this moment. Thank you, Jesus. You've always been there. You've always been faithful, protecting us, guiding us, drawing us to yourself. Tonight is no exception. God, you are drawing us to yourself. Let every heart respond to you tonight in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I will sing of your goodness, I will sing of your love, for the seasons come quickly, you have always been enough. Though the night may get dark, though the waiting seems long, you have always been faithful to remind me of your love. You Sing you are good in the evening. I sing you are good. You are good to me, so good. You are good to me. You are good. You have always been patient. You have always been. You're consistent through the ages, oh, what a friend of mine. So I remind my soul to bless you, standing firm upon your truth, knowing you cannot be shaken, because I've seen what you can do. Yeah. 
I'm just reminded tonight when Moses said, show me your glory, God's response was, I will cause my goodness to pass before you. Amen. And we want to see his glory. We want him to come down in power and might and majesty. And he does that by showing off his goodness. Amen. To a thousand generations, you are so good, God. You are faithful to your word, Jesus. You forgive everybody. It is your desire, God, that all men come to repentance. It's your desire that all would be baptized in fire. God, it's your desire that all men would give you their whole hearts tonight in Jesus' name. Oh, you are so good. You are good, God. You are good. Always been good. You are good. time. You are good.
Walking amongst his people, oh, and I see the Lord is healing amongst his people. Oh, there's healing amongst his people as he walks among his people. And I see the Lord walking amongst his people, walking in the midst of his people, walking amongst his people. I see the Lord is healing amongst his people. He's healing amongst his people. He's healing amongst his people. He inhabits our praise as we lift up his name. He inhabits our praise as we welcome him in. It's his praise as we lift up his name. He inhabits his praise as we praise his holy name.
Worship means is to bow down. More than just physically, it means to lay ourselves down before you, all that we are. Not only our good things, but also all the bad things, all the things that we're worried about, all the things that we're stressed about, everything that we are. If we lay it down before him and if we recognize that he is the Lord over our lives and over all things, that is worship, signified in laying down before him. Everything gets laid down before him as he gets lifted up. See, there's a story in the Bible about Jesus riding into Jerusalem. And it says that the people took off their jackets, took off their coats, laid it at his feet. And then it says they picked up palm branches and waved it around, shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, is he in the highest? Amen. So that's a good picture for us, just to lay down those things that are on our backs, all the things that weigh us down. And as we lay those, down, those things down, we can pick up our branches and begin to sing our praise to him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'd rather be. There's no place I'd rather be. There's no place I'd rather be. And here in your love, here in your love, no place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be. No place I'd rather be.
a fire. That's what we're going to do. Set a fire. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want, make this your prayer tonight. Set a fire. Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain, that I can't control. I want more of you, God. I want more of you, God. Hold the raging fire. Hold the raging fire. The uncontrollable fire. I want more of you, God. Blow on your fire. Blow the winds of your fire. Blow the winds of your fire, Lord. I want
Wow. <laughs> Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When I, I heard, I heard like the Lord saying, when all I want to do is worship you, he's saying all I want to do is heal you. Amen. All I want to do is deliver you. All I want to do is save you. <clears throat> he's on a rescue mission. Amen. And I was just reading Psalm 33 just before the service. It says, Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, for, for praise from the upright is beautiful. It's not something for praise according to the word of the Lord, which is inspired by God. It says, For praise from the upright is beautiful. I don't know about you, but that sounds... That sounds pretty amazing, amen? So when you're, we're doing this together, we're worshiping the Lord, we're raising our voices to Him, it's, it's beautiful in the sight of God, amen? He looks down and looks down and hears the sound coming from this area in Saskatoon, Sunday night at 6.30 to 7, whatever, wherever we stop, He hears that and it just... It just does his heart good. He loves he loves when his people praise him. And he declares it beautiful. I found some kind of tinny there, Brent. I don't know what's happening here, but a little, little, little too low. And he goes on to say, Praise the Lord with the harp. Make melody to him with the instruments of ten strings. Sing to him a new song. And that was going on here tonight. We're hearing songs we never heard before. Play skillfully with a shout of joy. For the word of the Lord is right, and all his work is done in truth. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his oh, full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathered the waters of the sea together as a heap. He lays down the deep. It's maybe too hot or something. He gathers the water of the sea together as, as a heap. He lays up the deep in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe, him, awe of him. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. The Lord brings the counsel of the nations to nothing. He makes the plans of the peoples of no effect. The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations Blessed is the nation whose God is Lord, the people he has chosen as his own inheritance. Blessed is the nation whose God is Lord. I, I want this nation to become a, a, a sheep nation. Amen? And right now we're in, on our way to becoming a goat nation, but we need to change that. We need to reverse that in the name of Jesus. So blessed is the nation whose God is Lord. If you believe that, how about you give a shout and an amen and, and a clap and everything combined together. Yes, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. want to welcome you here tonight in the house of the Lord. The presence of God is here because you're here. Amen. It's very important when two or three gather together, the word says that, that here I am in the midst of them. He's in the midst of us today. And he's going to do some amazing things today. And um, um, I want to ask uh, Pastor Alan and Carol to come up and just greet. Could you come up, Pastor Alan and Carol, if you could just come and greet us. We haven't seen you for a while. We miss you. You're looking good, and you're, you live close to us now. So we might be using you more than you thought. <laughs> In the next. So let's give a clap offering to these guys as they come. Pastor Alan Carol Osoup. Amen. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, Lord. Do you want to start? Well, praise the Lord. I greet you tonight in the wonderful name of Jesus. You know, I'm so uh, it's so good to be in the presence of the Lord and uh, like Pastor said, we are closer to you now, and God has um, moved us, and I believe that he's got greater things ahead, you know, and we uh, are uh, 
work back home, it's in good hands and everything is still going on, you know. And I just thank God for that. You know, God is a good God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, I greet you all in that wonderful name of Jesus. I just want to remind you that Jesus never changes. Everything is changing around us now. And, but Jesus don't ever change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Still heals every sickness and every disease amongst the people. You know, the Bible says that in the book of Acts that they were, the church was under great persecution. Don't look at your watch, brother. Teasing Pastor Terry here. Praise God. You know, the book of Acts says that the church was under great persecution. And they were scattered everywhere. And they went forth preaching the word of God. And Philip went down to the city of Samaria and he preached Christ. And the people saw the miracles, the healings that took place. And the Bible said there was great joy in that city. I thank God you don't ever change. Right now, it seems like the church is under persecution. But God has a remnant. God always has a people that are going to preach the word of God. And I, I just thank God for that. And, you know, I was just thinking of that scripture. I was looking at Pastor Lonnie. He's, he's always on fire. You know, and, and John, the Bible says there's none born among women greater than John the Baptist. But he said, there's one coming after me who's mightier than I. He said, I, 